All right, so round number two, as opposed to round number one, which I said you guys were all safe. Uh-oh. Round number two, you're not safe. Oh, no. But we're going to play a fun game. It is okay. a game of this or that, either or, choose your destiny. Okay. It's a hypothetical <laughs> this or that, and you guys have to choose to the best of your ability, <laughs> which you'd rather have. Okay. All right. So, mm. let's start off with Ravy. Mm-hmm. So, Ravy, OG Woody Show member, loves the Woody Show. Sure. Mm-hmm. Also has her own podcast. Yeah. Nerding out. Mm-hmm. And you love doing her now. I do. So, if you had the option mm-hmm. to take a 25% pay cut and uh-huh. do Nern Out on your own time, or stay on the Woody show with the current schedule mm-hmm. and current price, okay, which would you pick? That's a great question. So, Ooh. if I'm on my own Nerd Out schedule, I could make my own schedule and do whatever I wanted. Because mm-hmm. the only bad thing about the Woody Show, as we said so many times, is the schedule, right? Getting up so yeah. early, right? But I, which by the way, I never mm. wanted to do mornings. And you know who's it, the one person who hello. always pushed me and said, "Hi, you need to do this. We need to do this. <laughs> this <is> gonna, <laughs> you, you're gonna love it." And I get up early yeah. all the time. It, Hi. Raving. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And now we're doing it. But I think out of everybody Ravy. in this room, I've adopted the most or adapted the schedule to the schedule. So I would stick with the Wendy show. Is that your final answer? It's my final answer. Show of hands who believes that. I believe that. Mm-hmm. Oh, Cameron. Yeah, believe her that. podcast buddy. Can I ask you? <laughs> Ravy, are you, are you taking into consideration that nerding out is like an hour a week? An hour yeah. a week. Yeah. <laughs> well, I I guess yeah. I was assuming if nerding out was my job, I'd be doing it more. Like it would be a daily thing. The other thing would be on yeah. its own. Like you wouldn't get promotion because you wouldn't right. be part of the Woody yeah, show. Yeah, true. Oh, she'd still get paid though. <laughs> she'd still get paid. <laughs> but, I mean, yeah. in that hypothetical, is a 20% pay cut? Yeah. 25%. Five. Or 25 mm-hmm. to do just nerding out? Yeah. It's an attractive offer. It maybe. is attractive. Yeah. But I wouldn't see Greg every day. Exactly. And that's, right. that would, that's oh, the kicker. Uh, okay. That would be that's awful. That's the kicker. Yeah. Think of how upset <laughs> Greg the line. would be. That's the kicker. I'd be, I'd be bummed. All right, I'd so be bummed too. I'd be yeah. super bummed. Either or thing with yeah. board for his Tuesday takeover. This is round number two. Who's no next? Please, Ravy. Well, let's go with Greg. Ouch. All right. Yeah. All right. So Greg loves his partner Mario yes. probably more than anything in the world. Correct. And he hates facial piercings. And he no. hates Uh-oh. facial tattoos. <laughs> so if Mario came up to you and said, Gregory. Gregory. Uh, <laughs> Gregory. No, we, he'd go, beam. Uh, oh, beam. He'd say, hey, hoi. It would be, hoi. Me love. Hoi. <laughs> I have a choice. <laughs> I want to uh-huh. get a face tattoo uh-huh. or a f- facial piercing. Ooh. And I'm getting one of them. You choose. Oh. Well, a tattoo's permanent, right? I, yeah. So like, let's say nose ring, right? Yeah. Uh, the, I would say go with the nose ring because you could just take it right out. But what if it's forever? That's it. Oh, it's, it yeah. had to be forever. Mm, yeah. He wants That's to rock it, it forever. Ugh. Septum piercing. Yeah, Ooh. especially if it's one of those ball bearing uh, ones. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. The bull ring. The bull ring. ring. Yeah. 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 Oh, God. So high. Now keep well, in mind placement. How big of a face tattoo? <laughs> To your imagination. I mean, it could be yeah, on like, the neck. It could be underneath oh, the eye. Is it Mike Tyson? Okay. I'll take, the, I'll take a... Like a neck tattoo that's thin and long that goes oh, like from the neck. You don't get to design it. Yeah. We're saying oh, face. Oh, I thought I got to design it, he just said. Yeah, it's a face he tattoo, not face. a neck. Don't well, say Well, it'd neck. be somewhere on the it face. It would have to be yes. on the face. Yeah, the neck up. Oh, my mm. God. I'm actually going to, I would actually go with a tattoo. Really? really? Yeah. That's I, how much he hates nose rings. I, wow. <laughs> so I, think, I mean, so nose weird. rings are the literally the ugliest things on planet Earth. I thought about Greg the other day. I was walking back to my car at the grocery store and- some a hole parked way too close mm-hmm. over the line into my area. I'm looking at this dumpy car, yeah. and the person in the passenger seat, of course, has their bare feet up on the dashboard. <laughs> uh, of hey, course, it's also a white trash move. <laughs> and I get closer, and it's just this fat chick in the passenger seat, and then she <laughs> turns and looks at me, and she's uh, got this giant bull nose oh, mm, oh, piercing. Uh, I, the first person I thought of was Greg, but my initial reaction was, ugh, yeah, ugh, ugh, yeah, like so- literally, like to myself, ugh. Like who do you uh, who do you think is the hottest chick on planet Earth? Mila Kunis for you, Greg. Right? Mila Kunis. Yeah. Give her a nose ring. She goes from a ten to a zero. Especially the septum <laughs> piercings. So just the worst. If you have one right now, you just made a number of women who have a crush on you cry right now. That's Greg. okay. Uh, that's, that's okay. okay. <laughs> I mean, it's the truth. But he, I hear. always hard, said that. That's a hard <laughs> truth. All right, it's Bort's Tuesday takeover. It's an either or. Who's next? Let's go, Woody. All right. Yeah. All right, Woody. If you could hop in a DeLorean. At 88 miles per hour, go back in time yep. before your kids were born. Would you either choose to wait five years before having the same kids you have now, or wait five years? Okay. Yes. 
or choose to have a dog that would vomit and crap on your floor every two weeks? Oh, that's um, specific. So would he not have kids, just the pooping dog? Yeah, the, the yeah. choice is go back in time. I'd wait five years, have would, my kids five years later. Yeah. yeah. So, so he I, would still always have kids in this scenario. Yeah, because you always yeah. said you would no, like no, no, no. to wait five years. If you could go back in time, you would you would have waited five years to have kids. I've heard no, you I said, said if I can go back in time, they would disappear. They would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What kids? Yeah. What, wait, wait, schmate. Yeah. What are you referring to? I, I said yeah. I've always said I got a vasectomy ten years too late. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's why I was confused yeah. by yeah. the setup. All right. Well. Let's stick with the I'd same go, plan. I'd though. go back in time. I'd get a vasectomy. <laughs> yeah. Like when my wife and I got married, I would have got a vasectomy right away. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that's not the option here. So no, I know. I'm saying that's, that's, that was, yeah. that's my comment of record. Mm-hmm. All right, so what would you choose, though? The kids, you get a few years to wait. You get... uh, barfing, puking, yeah. dog. Because <laughs> it's every two and, weeks. And you would get the five years? Yeah. I, can, I can deal with that. You can handle it. Yeah, and when, like, when you go out or whatever, I can't just throw the kids into the crate. I mean, you know, uh, yeah. and they're and they're happy about it because yeah. right. you know dogs love that crate. They do. It's a security thing. Yeah. And this also tells me how much you're currently loving your dog right now. Uh, I mean, she's a pain in the ass, but it's compounded with kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You see, I'm true. Like, and True. And I do love the dog. Yeah. yeah. But it's, it's it, it all compounds. Okay. All right. And I do love my kids. I know it's, it sounds. <laughs> you don't believe that after what I just said. I love my kids. I hate being a parent. I've said that a number of times. And that's a, it's a different thing. Yeah. And when they're in this age range right now, like, you know, mm-hmm. my daughter is about to turn seven. My son is 10. She's about yeah. to come out of like the really pain in the ass yeah, stage. Yeah, I think that's, those are good ages. People always say like the yeah. terrible twos. Twos are nothings. Give me like the threes and the fours are the oh. worst. Oh, yeah. just wait till they're teenagers though. Ooh. Yeah, but then they don't want to talk to you. That's right. Yeah. That's when they hate you. <laughs> yeah, hate me all you want. You're quiet, right? <laughs> They'll turn 13 yeah. and hate you. All right, fine. All right. Next up we got... Menace. Oh, great. Now, I know Menace wants to travel to space more than anything in the world. Well, he wants to go out of world, right? I mean, I'm down. Dude, I want to go to I'm space afraid. more than anybody. Yeah. All right. But I also know you love food. Yes. Mm-hmm. So what would you rather have? Would you rather travel to space and give up all earthly food or stay here on Earth and only get to keep one of your fast food stops? I mean, that's easy. Fast food stops all day. <laughs> I... I don't know. Like, I would love to go to space, but I'd be super afraid. You know, I... Part of the fun. Dude, I hear you all the I, time I, saying you, know, you want to... I would love the option, like, you know, Virgin Galactic and go up there and do that, but I would be so scared. He would want the pictures for the gram, but he oh, wouldn't yeah. want to actually have to do it. <laughs> Dude, yeah. like, I would He'd cry like to be able to whole, say he did it. I would cry and poop the entire time. Oh, totally. <laughs> but the gram, though. Dude, we're getting, where, like, but, I would yeah. pay big money to be able to yeah. go to space. Yeah, you would. Okay, Woody, quick. Give up your kids or go into space. Yeah, space. Oh, there we go. Space. All right, Seabass. Yeah. Seabass likes to claim that he is not balding, which is, you know... Factual. Possibly. And he also likes to slam all the time. So Seabass... Allegedly. (laughs) Would you rather be fully bald and get to slam all the time with the ladies? Allegedly. Right. Or keep the remainder of your hair (laughs) and bang only once a year? Oh. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Now is it pattern baldness, like where like he still has some hair like around, around the, the edges? Yeah, is it George like Costanza, George Costanza balding? Yeah. <laughs> no, so is his current hair? Like you know, there right. are plenty of dudes like a Howie Mandel or Joe Rogan or whatever, and they're just you know Joe Coy, you know, right? Yeah, The Rock. Maybe yeah, maybe, maybe rock. it's the thing that he has currently going on right now. He has some of the fade, and then he'll have a little flap on top. It'll just kind of keep thinning back to like yeah. a little top knot kind yeah. of a thing. Uh, and actually, no one ever goes fully bald. Like everyone always has that Captain Picard strip around yeah. the back. Those guys, like you just mentioned, like Joe Coy, they'll shave it off mm. though, so it's more uniform look. Um, yeah, I don't. There was there was one year in my life where I really I don't think I had sex once. It was a very weird situation where I was living with this woman for free. And I didn't want to have sex with her anymore, so I kind of like made excuses. <laughs> I remember, yeah. <laughs> 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 it was like looking back it was not that long ago like looking back on it now it's like man that was a messed up situation oh, yeah um i mean I, yeah i guess i would and i don't have but i don't i do not have a good looking skull either but i would still i would take the fully bald with constant slamming and now for yeah. let me clarify the constant yeah. slamming is with chicks who are at least an eight and above right yeah <laughs> you know whatever you want to claim so yeah. whatever you want to claim oh in that case yeah we know the truth over here so it's fine. yeah bald, bald and slamming who cares hell yeah <laughs> All right. Lastly, Cameron. <laughs> Rep. Cameron, your two favorite mm-hmm. closest people on the show are Greg and Ravy. Sure. 
if Greg and Ravy got to a horrible fight and decided that they would never talk to each other ever again, which is inevitable, and you could only be <laughs> friends, <Inevitable. laughs> and you could only be yeah. friends with one, you have to choose a side. Whose side are you taking? Damn. Hmm. Jeez, Bort. These, this is very yeah. tough. These are very hate curated. <laughs> hate curated. Wow. I think That's I would hate. choose. You have to make a choice. Ooh. I think I would choose Greg. <laughs> because, <laughs> because so I feel like I. the wrath for not choosing Ravy would be lighter than the wrath for not choosing Greg. Are you sure? Does that make I'm, sense? I'm feeling the fire from over here uh, right now. <laughs> wait, what? Like the like the blowback for not choosing Greg like if he would chose be you, higher. Greg would be way uh, more and more upset uh, than you, know you know would I mean? yeah. if he that chose you. That makes perfect sense, Cameron. But then you, you. Way, to, way to give it a negative spin, Cam. No, yeah. <laughs> I love you, no, Greg. Yeah. Let me tell you exactly what happened. Greg's such a baby. Uh, you'd be crying oh, all the please. time. Ravy would never say mm -hmm. anything to right. you, mm -hmm. but she'd be like rolling her eyes and doing that thing where she talks into her phone. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and she'd be forever pissed at you. Right. Because yeah. in a the, real world scenario, Ravy has the yeah. ability to write people off. Well, I mean, in a hypothetical yeah, scenario, yeah. he just chose Greg. So I mean, it, it's almost right. like a real yeah. world scenario. Almost, but See? not. Almost. I mean, legally, it is. Yeah. Legally, he <laughs> said he, he likes me more. I, I think choosing Ravy would be risky because she could just get upset with you and then cut and then you, you have off. Neither. Yeah. Of them. Oh yeah. Greg would just stew, but still be friends with you. All right, board. Yeah. I got one for you. Ooh. Yes, sir. Ooh. All right. You get the rights. To the Transformers. Ooh. <laughs> or you get to stay married to your wife. <laughs> Ooh. I'd stay married to my, my oh, wife. Oh, you're still uh, alive. Uh, no, I would. I would. My wife's my best friend. Oh, babe. I'd do anything for her. His Aww, best friend pays babe. the rent. Optimus Prime could be your best uh, friend. Uh, so uh, do rents, I. Rents do. <laughs> well, I get my, my wife's Aww. my best friend. I'm on board. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh okay. <laughs>